So uh, Christmas happened, and uh, what happened to Kevin Nash? Oh, he caught a slight oh, case of white trash. <laughs> You know, I heard he got arrested by the Popo. You, what you know what? His, boy, his, boy, enough of that. I saw close of his son. His son looks pretty annoying, so I could I could see why you, Kevin had to put him down. He, here's my take on it. I totally side with Kevin on this, by the way. Well, I, I, the I agree. Here's my take times. on it. Since I don't have a kid, and I don't have a, a 20-year-old kid. And his son kid, is 6'5", 220. Yeah, so I don't, I don't have a kid, kid, so I can't you know, comment what it's like for my son to be beating up his mother. You know, which is what happened that night also. But my oh, take is happened? this. Okay. I talked about the story that, you know, when I was in high school, I came home pissed drunk drinking Johnny Walker Red that to this day, if I even smell it, I get nauseous and throw up. All right. Mm -hmm. But when I came home drunk, I passed out and slept for a day and a half. I didn't have thoughts of beating up my mother. All right. So my honest opinion is, is that if this prick bastard and i don't even want to say that because i'm sure kevin nash loves his son but if my son came home drunk as a fuck and was you know messing around you know like you know saying nasty shit to me being his his father and his mother then i would fucking whip out a belt and crack him over the head i got whipped when i was young and I, and even in freshman year in high school i got hit in the hand i told the story before with a hanger where my it looked like i had an extra thumb on my finger because it swelled up like a like a golf ball i never once I, I used to get, you know, say to my father, I hate you. I, I can't stand you. You know, why are you hitting me? I never in my wildest dreams ever <laughs> thought to myself that time, I'm going to have my father arrested. You know, I'm going to, you know, press charges on my father. No, we it, didn't do that back then. No. Back then, I would take it because I knew my father really loved me, and I knew that when things were good, my father rewarded me. If I, back then, my father hit me because I misbehave or something, or if I threatened my mother and my father cracked me over the head and I pressed charges, I knew that for the next 10 years, my father ain't giving me shit. Now, my I father ain't buying me clothes. Because, I mean, you're, you're bringing this up, and, and we're talking about Kevin Nash and his immediate family. So the son was beating the shit out of the mom, and uh, Nash stepped in and beat the shit out of his son. And I guess what the story is is that his brother-in-law or something like that, or his brother, called the cops on, it was on the Kevin wife's Nash. Brother, Kevin Nash's brother-in-law. Now, how fucked up is this situation where the family isn't taking care of it inward? You know what I mean? If a family has a dispute, isn't it kind of like, you know, we don't call the cops on one another? It's yeah, but I think it's the culture of today. But Mish, I think also with the brother-in-law doing that, I think you got two giant guys getting into a fight and they get really hard each other. I mean, Kevin Nash is 6'10". You think this is the first time the this has happened? He's 6'5 and drunk. These are big dudes. I mean, how, you know, the, the brother-in-law and the wife are little people. How are they going to break it up? So it's like I think they, they didn't really have a choice. Mm, you um, know what? You know, I, I think you know, you're talking about uh, someone severely getting hurt there. Criminal activity isn't based on height and weight. If I, if I choke slam no, but my... Yeah, but the, the activity of how much damage you can do when you're that size. Uh, yeah, you but don't you realize up, that Would you like to break up son? a fight between Brock Lesnar and someone as big as him? No. <laughs> I know, but don't you realize that that's still your son? Like, I mean... I mean, sure, you're smacking the shit out of him to put him down, but you think that these guys were at that white hot of a level where they were literally trying to kill oh, each Kevin other? Kevin Nash got two nasty cuts on his face. Oh, I, I, I'll put this into the perspective of if I was at my house and two fucking centaurs of men started fighting in front of me, I'd probably <laughs> come against them. Yeah. I don't give a shit who they are. I would put like, on YouTube and charge money. Yeah, but yeah I know. family. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I'm yeah, they different. they're your family, Mish. But at the same point, if one family member ends up dead, what are you going to do yeah, then? Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Know, like, were they saying, that Kevin, crazy? Kevin Nash sitting on the back of your neck is much I, more I, lethal than, like, say, you know, you got a little like two guys fighting. Like my brothers are five seven, yeah. five eight. It's not going to be, you know, it, it's a much bigger thing when you got two right. hulking men like that and one's drunk. And acting real aggressive towards his father, I think Kevin Nash you probably had no choice but to really get aggressive you with him when back. When Drew McIntyre destroyed his career by calling the police on Tiffany for smacking him around, that's <laughs> yeah. one thing. This is this is literally two giant men hurting each other. I, like, you I, know? I guess, I guess, I, I don't know. I just look at it as you know, you you think that even when you're beating the shit out of somebody, you're realizing, you know, I, I actually love this person every other day of the year. Maybe I shouldn't gouge out his eyes with my thumb. 
You know what I mean? It's, oh. it, it's just, I don't, I if don't you're, get it. If you're Kevin Nash's son, you probably also saw your dad about 15 days a year for the first 10 years of your life. So yeah. maybe you there's don't feel There's probably some super- resentment there, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. here's and the problem. And there's probably some resentment being named Tristan. But here's the problem about... <laughs> well, here's the problem about that whole story, too. They arrested Kevin Nash, but they didn't arrest the drunk son who was uh, beating, messing around with the mother, which I led to Kevin Nash doing son. that. And then, shot, yeah, but what happened two hours later after Kevin Nash was arrested? They had to call the cops again because they had to arrest the son because he continued to harass the mother. Right. So, oh, cool. so they didn't defuse the situation. They made it worse because Kevin Nash was taken in and the son was still being abusive. So it's just... Whoever this person was, you know, it's the culture, it's this society, it's the pussification of America. I truly believe if that was 30 years ago, 20 years ago, we would not have heard the cops calling. Because you think about all of the people in wrestling and all of the sons and daughters that have grown up in the last 30 years, and you tell me how many times 20, 30 years ago that you heard about a son having an altercation with a father and they called the police over it. It rarely, rarely ever happened. I told you, back then I didn't even think even remotely like, I'm going to call the cops. You know, this is just the culture of t- of this era. You know, when Vince talks about millennials, maybe they don't have the same, you know, you know, drive like 20, 30 years ago. My father sees it too. He sees people on TV talking about how they don't have opportunities and how they're being held down and how they're living in poverty and how they can't do things that other people do, but yet they're doing it with an iPhone 6 in their hand. Right. I mean, right. I was bigger than my dad, DT. I mean, I'm six foot six. My, my, my stepdad was like five foot eight, five foot nine. Oh. And when he slugged me clean in the fucking face, I didn't haul off and try to whoop his ass. I sat the fuck down and listened. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was just, it's, that was just the way it was done. It's you know? the culture of today. The culture of today is, is that you, you can't even discipline your son or your daughter. You take out a strap. Your son's misbehaving in school, and you, he takes out your uh, father takes out a strap and whips you know his son in the ass. You go to jail for that. <sighs> yeah, that's fucked up. You know, it's it's, and I'm not talking. They really about, need more bullwhip parents. I'm not talking about whipping three or four year olds. I'm talking about you know like someone who's <laughs> yeah. twelve, fourteen, Crack sixteen. You know, no ball it's lashing just, going on over well, here or nothing. You know, there's also there's a big difference between. My 12-year-old won't do their math homework, and my 18-year-old comes home drunk and tries to hit his mom. Yeah, I'm you know, telling like you. There's, there's a big difference between the two things, but in that scenario, if he really was being that big of a piece of shit, then yeah, both probably should have gotten arrested for assaulting each other. But not only that, I, I, how many people do you know have had families that were that toxic? You know, right. like, it, it, and I mean, I, I'm sure that all of us have been in situations or. No, no, friends. I mean, growing up with five brothers, we had uh, a couple of times, like, uh, not any of us, but maybe a neighbor called cops because there was like a brawl in my house between some of my brothers. Yeah. Like, when the cops rang the bell, we were like, cops, like, who the fuck are cops? Like, then all of a sudden, everybody stopped and got their faculties together. Like, was it that out of control? I don't know. We always fight all the time. So you so, did I mean, fight your brothers. That, that happened a few times, but nothing ever came of it. Back then, uh, even and I remember an incident with two of my brothers who really messed each other up, and the cops just came in the hallway and they're like, you know, making sure everybody's calm now, whatever. And there were marks on people on on them. They didn't do anything. This is like 20 years ago, but now I think what is it, Don Tony? The, the laws now, if you have a cut or a bruise, they got to take both parties in or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Wow. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. In New York, well, yeah. I think in California, too. I think I, I would think it's in every the majority of states. I mean, all of us live in you know different states, obviously, on this phone, on this show. But I don't know if in Chicago and Boston the rules are the same. If uh, there's any even like a cut or like even Chicago, an inkling of an injury, they got to take both of you in. No, in Chicago, as long as you have less than three bullet holes, you can pretty much <laughs> and, and you know what? I want to add to this, too. I think WWE was absolutely wrong and ridiculously wrong for suspending Kevin Nash so quick. Yeah, I thought that, that was thought very that, I mean, sure. Jesus Christ. I mean, you think of all of the altercations that other people have had over the years. It's a family dispute. If they know that you have to be arrested no matter what, no matter what, 
You don't see, even know the story, and you suspend the guy immediately? It's like, this, this is where we disagree, because I cannot believe that WWE has him under contract and pays him. That's what I'm most shocked about. Oh. <laughs> that's where that's you're more where, offended of the contract in general. I'm offended that he has a contract <laughs> and is being paid. Uh, as if this guy's not rich enough for doing nothing in the last 25 fucking years <laughs> of his career. Sure. You know, now he's now he's going to get paid to sit at home and beat up Tristan. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> <laughs> can I get this deal? Can I have a can oh, I have a Joey will he beat up Tristan for a uh, for a paycheck? Oh. I, I let me tell you, I will fight 6 foot 5 Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> 